What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and do you like money? I love money. Everybody loves money. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want a chance to win some money or win some other prizes, you must enter Treeb Talks AAF Weekly Poll. Basically what it is is you must be active through the first eight weeks, the whole eight weeks of the AAF uh, regular season. Now, what the winner gets, if you get the most games right, and everybody's on an even playing field, everybody has no idea how well these eight teams are going to do. So I think this is perfect. I think this is fun. The winner that gets the most games right, and it could be me, so I could be walking home and not even have to give you guys anything. You know, we will see. But the winner either gets a $100 Amazon gift card, $100 via cash app from your boy, or a pair of AirPods. You get any of those choices if you win the AAF Challenge. Now, the AAF Challenge is a weekly challenge where I go on YouTube, I go over the games, I give you my picks, and you can give me your picks in the comment section down below. Or you can go join the official Treeb Talks Facebook group where you can post your picks there. I will upload a graph showing the current standings of everybody and see where you guys lie as far as having an opportunity to win $100 of an Amazon gift card, $100 via the Cash App, or a pair of AirPods. So ladies and gentlemen, do not miss out on this opportunity. The only rule is you must be subscribed to Treve Talks in order to enter this contest. And you can enter it at any time you want, um, week one through the end of the season. I don't know why you'd want to go through the end of the season because, you know, obviously throughout the week somebody's going to have more wins than you. But it is possible you can enter whenever you want. And if you get first place, uh, I think this, I'm going to pay out the top three. But if you get first place, those are your three options. I will think about what second and third get from here but ladies and gentlemen please enter i will leave a link in the description of the facebook group you can also join uh to be a part of this community and have a chance to win a hundred dollars or a hundred dollar amazon gift card or a pair of airpods of your choice so ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's dive into my week one picks of the aaf season so before I get into these week one games, one thing I want to make clear because a lot of people have been commenting on this video, it has 2.8 thousand views at this point, and I'm glad it's one of my most popular uh, YouTube videos that I've ever had, um, where I rank all eight of these teams from worst to best. A lot of the comments are saying, oh, this season, this, you know, this friend, this whole league just started, you don't know, you don't know who's good, you know, it's not the NFL, you can't just do power rankings. For one, yes I can, it's a free fucking country, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And for number two, it's fun. Like, it's literally fun. You can just go out, predict who's going to do good, predict who's going to do bad, and you can look back on it and either say, hey, I'm an idiot, or hey, you know, I was pretty much right. I mean, the Hot Shots was the team I thought was going to do the worst, but Vegas has them doing the best and has them, you know, favored to win the first championship. Um, and I think that they're the worst team. So, you know... Once this is all said and done, we're going to see if Vegas is right or if Treep was right. And if Treep was right, then I should just go make all the bets in Vegas. So, that being said, don't take this too seriously. Uh, take the picks very seriously now, now that you know you have some incentive. But, don't take things so seriously. You know, I know it's a startup league. I know it's going to be hard to make picks. But, if you want a chance to win some stuff, I mean, you might as well throw your hat into the ring. So, the first game, we got Atlanta at Orlando that's Saturday February 9th 8 p.m. on CBS now I had the Apollos being one of the better teams um, in the league this season the best team the Atlanta Legends was more kind of in the middle of the pack as far as how I thought the teams were gonna be doing so I think Steve Spurrier and the Apollos are gonna take down the Legends in the first ever Alliance of American football game. Um, it's going to be interesting to watch these games and really see uh, how much it differs from the NFL. I know there's not going to be a kickoff, um, things like that. There's little uh, types of things that's going to make it different from the NFL. They also don't kick extra points. That's also going to be unique, and that's also going to be fun to see. So, um, you know, I'm excited for the first game because, you know, this is really going to be the first taste of what this Alliance of American Football is going to be about. And I'm going to take the Orlando Apollos. I'm going to take them to beat the Legends. Next up, we got San Diego 
at San Antonio games also on Saturday and it is at 8 p.m. and it also says it's on CBS which doesn't make too much sense to me because they're at the exact same time and they both say that it's on CBS so I'm gonna check that one as far as TV listings go because that doesn't sound right so San Diego at San Antonio two middle of the pack teams that I didn't think we're going to be doing too great. Um, I'm going to take San Diego, though. Um, I had them ranked higher than San Antonio. I also think they have a little bit of experience as far as players that they have on their roster. And, uh, you know, that's really what you need in this league, at least from an outsider's perspective, looking in is experience um, in professional football, you know, to the timing. You know, when rookies come into the NFL, that's all they talk about is how fast this game is. So, you know, a team with more guys that haven't played at the professional level with the speed that this game goes, they're not going to be as used to it. But a team that has a couple of veterans that have played in the NFL are going to really take advantage of how much slower this game is compared to the NFL, I think, especially if they had a couple of games of starting experience and San Diego does have a couple of studs uh, like that on the roster. So with that being said, I'm going to be taking San Diego to defeat San Antonio. Coming up next, we got the Memphis Express taking on the bringing Birmingham, Birmingham. You know, I, I got so much shit in the comment section about not being able to say it and bringing ham, bringing ham or bringing ham. I suck at everything. That is the matchup uh, at Sunday, February 10th at 4 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network if you are interested in watching that one. Um, I had the Iron being the worst team in the leagues and uh, Memphis not being too far behind them. I believe I had them at 7 or 6. So it's going to be an interesting matchup between two teams that are really um, aren't too high on heading in to this season. Uh, I'm going to take the Express, though, over the Iron because, like I said, I had the Iron ranked as the worst team. And, you know, I can't just have them win a game week one. You know, that would be ludicrous because I think they're the worst team in the league. Um, so, again, it, like I say, you know, there's just there's not a whole lot of analysis that needs to be going in here. So before you go and comment down below, you didn't even really give a good reason on why you picked this team. I can't please y'all. If, that, if that's going to be y'all in the comments, I can't please y'all because, you know, you keep on saying, you really don't know that much about this league. And, like, I get it. I really do. Trust me. I get it. I don't. No one really does. But, you know, it's fun. Let's roll the punches. Try to win yourself some AirPods. Pick the games. Comment section down below. Join the Facebook group. Make it easier for me. But, with that being said, we are going to be going with the Memphis Express. Coming up next, my Salt Lake Stallions. Take on the Arizona Hot Shot Sunday, February 10th, 8 p.m. Eastern on NFL Network to cap off week one of the AAF season. I'm going to take the Stallions, and I'm going to take them by a lot. Quarter, their starting quarterback, B.J. Daniels, unfortunately had to have shoulder surgery, so he's placed in the injured reserve. So their quarterback is going to be Josh Woodrum, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, how he does. Um, you know, And it's going to be interesting to see a lot of these quarterbacks that don't have a lot of NFL experience uh, play in this league, you know, like Woodrum. And um, I believe the hot shots, oh, Trevor Knight, yeah, Trevor Knight does not have a lot of NFL experience either. So that's going to be an interesting uh, back and forth battle between these two teams. I'm going to take the Stallions, though, to win this game and hopefully win by a lot so we can, so I can say I root for a good football team because <laughs> These guys, these guys always let me down year in and year out. So, ladies and gentlemen, those were my week one picks for the AAF regular season. Again, I will reiterate, if you want to win yourself a $100 Amazon gift card, $100 via Cash App, or a pair of AirPods, please enter the contest, the weekly contest. Leave your picks in the comment section down below. Join the Facebook group. It will be in the description and make sure that you are subscribed. That is the only rule. You must be subscribed in order to enter the contest. And that was my week one AAF predictions. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. Don't forget, you can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling oh so generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash 
tree talks. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel five days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's are straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great day.